Hello and welcome back to Test Drive Thursday. Today we're taking a look at the Kenworth T610. So let's get started by taking a look at all of the customization. So here we are inside the truck configurator. Now there's three different cabins to choose from. You got the duty day cab, the standard sleeper, uh, which obviously increases the chassis size or length, I should say. Um, you get a lot more room on the inside with this, obviously. You can see the comparison here. Uh, if you just switch back to that. But you do get this rear window on the back, which, as you know, I do really like those. Uh, so we're still with a day cab for now. You, you do also have the aero sleeper. It's just that little bit extra on the top. It isn't actually any sort of more interior space. And to me, it just seems really sort of steep that angle it's kind of unusual personally I, I do like the day cabs as I just said um, on the chassis sadly only two well only one really you've got a 6x4 obviously if you go for long it gives you the bigger cabin um, so yeah only one chassis option which, which is a bit of a shame um, engines there's quite a lot of these they're all Cummins starting off with a 485 so in fact, there's quite a few for it, fives um, here. I'm trying to work out what... I don't know what ADEPT is. If any of you do know what that is, please do tell me. Um, this one's got 200 foot-pound more torque, I think. Doesn't seem much difference, but you got some 500s, 550s, and some 600 so quite a narrow range 115 horsepower and about 400 foot pound of torque not a lot of difference between the engines um transmission now that this is a shame there is only in only 18 speeds um no sort of quick fit quick shifting six speed or anything this is all you got um which to me is kind of frustrating because um, I do like that really quick shift in six speed, and I don't really think my G to um, my G what's it called? What, what do I have? G29 his um, setup for 18 speeds. I'd have to sort of mess around with everything, so that's a bit annoying. Um, interior, it's much like the standard Kenworth in the game, you've got this sort of pattern in, on the side with or without that, and then you've also got grey, which I much prefer onto the paint it's all standard colors really and then you got these extra ones which are really nice uh, it's a lot like the peterbilt 567 in fact it's by the same guy who did the peterbilt 567 from a few weeks ago and um, that's probably why some of these skins are fairly similar probably go for one of these today uh, but we'll just go for white for now whilst we're configuring um, down here, these are all your bumper for options. I do like the bump, uh, the ball bars that they've got going on here. They're not too high. They're not too sort of in your face either, uh, which I do like. I don't really like these squared ones. Um, I just think it looks a bit weird when they're painted. So it doesn't break it up very well. Probably if I go, if I go for like yellow whilst we're doing this. Probably better. I just think the chrome sort of works a lot better, especially with these little uh, extra lights down here. I like how they're sort of indented into the bumper as well. It's pretty cool. Um, right, let's move up. Now, I did a test before the video, and I can't tell a difference between these lights. I, I, you'd think that the Xenon ones would be a lot more sort of bluish, but they're not. I can't really tell a difference between the standard lights. And there's no visual difference either, so I'm a bit confused about that. Um, you've got some sort of wheel trims here. I don't really like them. Um, moving on up, you've got the bug deflector. Different shapes. We'll just completely remove it. You've got the side mirrors. Um, you can add some side lights you can change the sort of what well, it says side skirts but all tanks and steps i don't really like this design to be honest but you can't you can paint the tanks you can't really do that with this which is a bit of a shame 
around here. Got the door handles, mirrors. What's this option? Oh, we've done that one. Uh, you got the warning flags down there. Rest of that is on the inside, I think. You got the sun visor, uh, lights, horns, and I'm guessing this is beacons. Yep, beacons. I like how they're on the side with the metal sort of piece. That's very nice. Um, add them on there. Alright, we've got some exhaust stacks, which are pretty cool. They're a bit too tall for this truck. I think those work a lot better. And you've also got... Where's the exit for this? I can't really tell. I think it might be... You know what? I don't know. Somewhere around here, usually. Uh, around the back, we have got mud flaps. You can change them to white, if that's what you prefer. I think black just works a lot better, though. And you can also change to this style of lighting, which, in my opinion, looks a lot better than this. This looks really sort of dated. That still looks really nice. Um, we've done that. I don't think you can change the... Oh, there we go. Mud guards. You can change them. Uh, painted ones look alright. Chrome, that's probably a bit too much. Um, not a massive amount of options there. Also got a side mirror. Uh, on the inside, you can't really do much again. Just all standard stuff, really. Uh, sat nav's built in. Not sure what that is. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, for the options So now I'm gonna do a time-lapse of me building this truck to my spec Okay then, so here I am, all fully configured. Now I think this works really well with the sort of dark blue, uh, all the chrome bits, the chrome tanks. I did go for the sort of square style to get them in the paint. I just think it looks better. The sort of chrome wheels with the sort of red sort of dot on the hubcap. The ball bar looks so sort of aggressive. I just think it works really well. Uh, I do have a job put in the sat nav, as you um, can see by the look of it. Um, that's one thing when you look behind with these sort of stacks you have to sort of look around them if you have truck IR um, Which is a bit of a pain, but um, they look cool. So who cares uh, on the inside? I like how you get the sort of color around the edge of the door uh, It's kind of cool the way that's brought in uh, But anyway, let's turn it on uh, Pretty easy to read dials. It's a lot like the 567 Peterbilt uh, 579 Peterbilt like I had last time except that you don't get a digital speed readout which I really like in that truck 
um, it's just so useful but yeah again this doesn't have it I am using manual I've sort of set up my H shifter to um, work with manual so I haven't driven a manual truck in quite a long time so yeah let's turn it on and get going now it is only a short journey uh, I think we'll start off in third gear uh, I went with the 600 brake horsepower engine I went with the sort of bottom engine um, it had the A cert or whatever yeah please do tell me what that is uh, if you know that would be pretty cool but yeah let's get going plenty of power from this uh, 600 horsepower engine 15 tons of petrol so it shouldn't be a problem but yeah it's fairly overcast today it doesn't really show the colour brilliantly but still looks really nice and it's still lighting so yeah it's made by the same guy who did the Peterbilt 567 that I tried a couple of weeks ago I think we'll turn right actually but what shocked me about the customization of this it just doesn't seem anywhere near as good as the 567 for some reason I don't know why that is but you know it just doesn't seem like there's much going on like the, what's there is pretty good but I just wish there was a few more options to make it a bit more unique I do like how on the 567 you've got the sort of blacked out grill and the sort of blacked out lights that's one of my favorite features of the truck uh, but with this you get no options to change the grill or any options that I saw anyway um, to change the lights or grill or anything and the option that there is there to change the lights doesn't actually do anything uh, major anyway not I can't tell any difference uh, so yeah I definitely do think there's some work got to be done on the uh, sort of customization front you can't really do much to the interior I wish you could maybe like a full black interior would be nice rather than this grey which probably would get dirty pretty quickly um, the inside is borrowed from the T680 that SCS made some of the textures are fairly low like um, that little banker switches down there but generally it's alright I mean if you look here those textures are nice you can definitely tell it's a fairly well it's a few years ago since SCS developed this truck I'm guessing maybe three years ago and the sort of modeling on the inside so it's starting to show its age it's still not that bad though um, I do like the engines they don't like to rev that high they get to about 2000 and there's sort of like a rev limiter there it's nothing visual but it just won't rev anymore um, so you, I'm keeping it around 1500 changing around 1700 about that range it seems happy there but the power delivery is really nice let's try and time it yeah that worked well the power delivery is really nice pretty much any gear it will just pick up from you don't have to um, as I said rev it out because it doesn't feel comfortable doing that I think the sun's coming out as well which is nice show you the paint working a bit but yeah you can put it in 18th gear what we're doing now 40 miles per hour doing around 7,000 RPM and it's super quiet really is nice to drive and even though we are in 18th at relatively low speeds if I put my foot down with this 600 brake it takes a bit but eventually it gets in its stride you don't have to keep changing gears which I thought you might do on an 18 speed but it's actually alright not too bad at all uh, if I go through the displays quickly, uh, obviously you've got your fuel economy there, temperatures. Apparently, this has got enough fuel in it to do 2,200 miles. I don't believe that. You're probably going to do about maybe 1,500, which isn't bad, really. Um, 300 gallon tank is pretty massive. And to go 1,500 miles on a single tank of fuel... Um, that's typically what I find. I usually get about 75, 60% of what that's claiming. Uh, so, if we just do that, can't be able to do it in my head. 2200 times 0.75. 
So yeah, you're going to get about 1650 miles out of it, which is not bad. Usually I get around 800 to 900 on the 200 gallon tank, so yeah, that's pretty good. How does this work? Is he going to stop there? I'm not sure what he's doing. Wait, you see that? Yeah, so it stops revving at 2000. It just seems a bit too early for me. The engine sounds like it can keep on revving, but apparently not. So you do have to watch the revs, especially when pulling away. Alright, come on, time these lights. Yes, there we go. Let's get in front of this guy. I do like having that rear facing window. Super nice. Right, let's put the cruise on at 33. And just leave it there. What's this? Oh, roadworks. Got to get in this lane anyway. So yeah, in general, I do think it's a really nice uh, truck. I do like the lights on the T610. They're a lot more sharp than the um, T680. And gen generally, I think it does look better. It looks really sort of chunky and angular when you go for the... Um, sort of day cab like I have here I think it makes a truck let's turn the lights on a sec this is um, sort of a feature that I've noticed on the JTM mods or GTM mods I should say sorry um, the backlighting for the dashboard is always on like you see I'm changing the lights here but the backlighting isn't changing and the backlighting this is the same on the Peterbilt as well. It's like a beigey sort of brown colour, which I really don't like. I don't find it that easy to read at night. Um, I would much prefer like an orange or red or something, like I've got on my Peterbilt W900 on my Let's Play series. Um, so, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the, of the backlighting. I wish you could turn it off with the um, lights. Well, you can sort of do it there, but surely it should come on with the main lights. But yeah, you can sort of see the brown there, which is a bit annoying. Right, come on, let's get going. It's pretty quick though. We've got a trailer on the back. Got up to 30 pretty nicely. And you just put it into 18th. And there we go. Cruises really nicely. The visibility, I don't like the way the sort of door frame sort of swoops up around the mirror. Um, you've got a quite a big blind spot there. And the actual window at the back is quite high, so you don't really get to see down. You have to sort of look over it if you got track IR. Uh, again here, this is, I don't like this sort of um, piece that goes up. I'm guessing it's a quite nice armrest, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of it for driving in the game. Let's try and get through these lights. There we go. Got the world of truck sign up there, which should be Hollywood, but oh well. I haven't really seen a mod that changes that to Hollywood. It'd be cool if someone found one. Uh, what else to look at? The mirrors themselves, they seem a bit low, uh, if you ask me. Like the bottom of it is cut off by this part of the sort of window frame. Almost went into the back of him. Um, they don't, yeah, they don't seem massively big as well. But we will see what the lights are reversed with. Really like the power delivery of this. Sounds pretty nice as well. It's not too intrusive. You don't have like a turbo wine or anything. It's nice and relaxed. How are we doing for fuel? 5.2 miles per gallon. That isn't bad. Considering we're doing sort of town driving. Haven't done a motorway stretch or anything. going down here. Right, let's change it down to 12th. So 
So yeah, I def overall I definitely recommend you take a look at this mod. As I said, I don't think it's quite as well done as the um, Peterbilt 567 that I tried a couple of weeks back. But it's a def definitely a pretty good mod. It's better than average, I'd say. I really do recommend it right. Now, this is never a nice reverse because of the sort of traffic that comes past. So I'm probably going to turn the beacon on. Make as much sort of light as I can to warn the AI. They'll probably ignore it anyway. Uh, okay. Wait, you see what I mean? Come on, you go past. Now there's a Prius, by the looks of it, in fuel station. I don't know if to let him go past. Oh, I'll turn the wipers on. Let's just turn it out. Let's wait for this guy. It does look good though, doesn't it? I really do like this truck. Right. Right, let's go for this. So, using that rear mirror. We should have came over a bit. I'm probably going to hit that curb. Haven't given myself much room down here. Where is the curb? I'm just going to pull this forward a bit. It was a bit too far over. Sorry for gone quiet, was concentrating a bit. Go on that yeah, there we go. Not bad. Right, beacons off. Hazards off. And engine off. It's a nice view, isn't it? I think the sun's just going down. But there we go. Look at that, that's so nice. If you enjoyed that video, please do give me a like, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.